everyone, welcome back to Bee Mother Reviews. Today we've got Colossus from XM Studios, the latest to join their X-Men line. And this is actually the second of this character that I've bought this year. So why did I feel the need to add another Colossus to my collection? Let's get in the review and find out. Alright, so as his name and his imposing stature would imply, Colossus is the muscle of the X-Men roster. In fact, with his otherworldly strength and his mutant ability to clad his body with organic steel, he is quite literally the tank of the team. But off the battlefield, he's quite the opposite. He's actually quite a peaceful and humble Russian farm boy, and he actually detests violence. So he uses his powers in a peacekeeping sort of way. Um, he has been a mainstay on the X-Men roster since Giant Size X-Men number one. Uh, and for me personally, he's been firmly entrenched in my personal top five favorite X-Men since I can even remember. And when I was a kid, I'll admit that was largely based on just who looked the coolest. And there's something about his steel skin that I just always thought looked amazing. So as one of my favorite X-Men, I want and I expect a lot out of my Colossus statues. So does this one meet my expectations? Well, let's get into it. Let's dive in to Sculpt and Design next. All right, so this statue was a collaborative design between XM Studios and Studio Hive, and it was sculpted by Philip Herman. Now, to start off with the base, you can see he's got that standard Sentinel-themed base. He's standing on top of a mass of destruction. You got the customary random Sentinel part under one foot here. And you can see the cables in his hand lead back to what looks like a Sentinel eye that he's about to launch across the battlefield. In the back, you've got this masonry wall and you've got this trust steel tower or what's left of it. Um, I like these details here. It gives it a little bit of an architectural context instead of just a random pile of rubble. So I quite like the base on this statue, actually. Colossus himself definitely has great size about him. You know, in his armored form, he stands well over seven feet tall and you definitely have that kind of scale here. He's big and bulky as well. So good size statue. The costume, you know, at first glance, you can definitely tell this is a comic book styled Colossus, but XM does tend to stylize the costumes a little bit and it's no different here. You know, let's look at the shoulder pads. Instead of having that sort of pointed wing tip over the shoulders, he's got this heavy plated armor instead. Um, he's got, again, heavy plated armor on the gauntlets. His shirt has a nice leather texture down the red areas, more of a dimple texture in the yellow, and that leads down to this big heavy duty golden belt around his waist. And you got the big X logo in the front, of course. His boots, again, with the heavy duty armor down the shins, um, they've kind of shortened them up. Typically he wears a thigh high boot. These ones shorter, a little bit sleeker, more modern looking. And you got some leather texture down there as well. So it is a little bit of a twist to the classic look for Colossus. Now his skin, typically the seam lines in the armor of his skin are just straight lines right around his arms and legs and then evenly spaced basically from head to toe. This is done a little bit differently. It's almost like each muscle has its own set of plated armor. So some of the lines are offset a little bit. Now this is a little bit of a different look about it, but I think it actually looks kind of cool. It's a different than what I'm accustomed to, but I think it turned out pretty nice actually. It's a nice way um, to mix things up a little bit. Definitely my favorite part about this sculpt is the portrait. I mean, you get that mid-battle rage on this face. You got the furrowed brow and cheeks. Uh, his nose is scrunched up a little bit. And my favorite part is definitely this snarl on his mouth. He's gritting his teeth and the teeth look absolutely fantastic. So the portrait on this statue, definitely my standout part of the sculpt. But overall, I'd say they did a really nice job here. 
All right, we'll move on. Let's talk about paint here and we'll start again with the base. And I like what they've done here. They, instead of going with that just kind of drab, plain gray finish to the rubble, they've given it a little bit of color here. There's some reds and browns mixed in there. And you know, you got that pop of color with the masonry wall in the back. I like that. The sentinel parts have a blue metallic finish and definitely more of that kind of worn, subdued metallic finish, more similar to the Cyclops base than the Gambit base, in case you're wondering. Uh, Colossus himself uh, did standard red and yellow costume, but they've mixed things up a little bit. The heavy armored section, you know, shoulder, the gauntlets, the armor on the boots have a glossier metallic finish, you know, compared to a more matte finish on the shirt, the inside of the gloves, and the leather parts of his boots. Uh, they've added some gold accents like the buckles here under the shoulder armor of course the gold belt and some gold trim on his boots again just to kind of mix things up a little bit and add some pop to the paint finishes his teeth look amazing very realistic finish on the teeth i mean some of the best teeth i've seen from xm studios um, his gums are pink and i think um, typically his gums would be silver i'm not 100 percent sure i've never really thought about it um, but Again, they look amazing, so whichever way, it doesn't really matter. If his hair can be black, his gums can be pink. So the mouth, in my opinion, looks incredible. Um, but what's going to make or break any paint job on a Colossus statue is the metallic finish on his skin. And this has a very nice sort of almost brushed steel or brushed aluminum type of finish to it. You definitely get that metallic sheen off of the skin. So very nice job done there as well. So overall... Nice paint job, not much to complain about here. All right, so production and build quality on this statue. Let's look at some of the things you get inside the box. Uh, you've got the packing assembly photo, so it shows you where all the parts go in the box if you ever do have to pack them back up. And then on the flip side of that, you've got your registration instructions, the QR code will link you to the assembly video. Of course, no longer are you getting the assembly manual. It is a video on their YouTube channel. And then of course you get the art print as well. So this will look good next to your statue if that's how you choose to display it. Now also some statues, the early bird pre-orders will get this metal plaque uh, with Colossus on it, of course. And it's got a little kickstand so you can display that next to your statue if you choose. Uh, again, these metal plaques don't come with every statue, just a certain percentage of early pre-orders for the piece. Now, there are a few quirks with this statue here that I'd like to get out of the way off the top. Uh, with the assembly, I had a little trouble with the steel tower in the back. It is actually two pieces that you fit together and then each leg fits into an individual hole. And anytime you're trying to align something with that many holes, um, things can kind of go wrong. So I did have to get out the trusty hair dryer for that and it took a little bit of patience to get that in. Now the eye was a little tricky to line up. Uh, it does fit onto a peg on the side of this wall. Uh, but once you get it, it does have a pretty neat look, like it's sort of lifted off the ground there. The metal cables, not going to lie, those were a huge pain in the butt and definitely took some time to set up. They come coiled around and pre-attached to the eye, so you have to straighten them all out and then feed them through the hole in his right hand, then put that hand on the body, and then feed them through his left hand, and then put that hand on the body. And there's just enough room for those cables to fit through that hole. I just an extra millimeter there would have made a huge difference. So you're gonna have to spend some time feeding those through and then shaping them once you do get them through. So just take your time with it. Make sure you have a little bit of time set aside when you get this guy uh, in hand um, for the setup. So other than that, you know, the statue looks and feels great. It feels very sturdy. Um, other than those few quirks, it does fit together quite nicely and easily. And of course, you, it's a very solid, heavy feeling piece with the great packaging that you come to expect from XM Studios. Now, lastly, one thing that I think XM could improve on, not just on this statue, but on a lot of their statues, is just making the costumes look a little bit more like they're actually being worn. And what I mean by that is some areas 
get infilled with resin. And I mentioned this with Cyclops as well. Um, but, you know, for example, look at the belt. Right here on his belt, you've got this big, thick resin infill. So instead of having it look like his waist going down in behind his belt, it looks like two flat pieces joined together like this and kind of ruins that illusion of him actually wearing the costume. You got a similar situation here along the top of his boot where you got this big thick part of the trim and then this part here that comes off the top again you got that resin infill where there should be a gap between the boot and the top of his shin. So these are little tiny areas you know, they don't ruin the statue at all it still looks amazing but these are areas where i think xm can improve other companies are doing it you know sideshow iron studios they're really giving you this realistic worn costume look and i think xm could do better there and i hope they do do better in the future but otherwise great production from xm studios here All right, it's time to wrap things up here with the XM Studios Colossus. Now, ultimately, is it worth it for me to have two of this character in my collection? Well, after having this statue in hand, I have to say yes. I love the design of this statue. It's very unique and sets it apart from the other options available. I mean, this is full rage, mid-battle Colossus, and so unique here with the eye in hand about to hurl it across the battlefield. You know, great size with this statue. Excellent portrait, great mouth and teeth there. Um, the paint job, very well done. Uh, nice metallics on parts of the costume. Great finish to the skin as well. And aside from those few quirks with the assembly, uh, it is a nice quality production from XM as well. So overall, a really nice piece to add to your collection, especially if you're an X-Men collector like me. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Stay tuned to the channel because we got lots more coming including more x-men and we'll mix things up a little bit as well along the way so make sure to subscribe stay tuned and we'll talk to you guys soon